era of uh, communication or information revolution where everybody uh, can have access to information uh, in their own vernacular language uh, at the, uh, you know their fingertip uh, so i that this uh, uh, that that's a reason why i say that um uh, there was the uh, women um let's see the beneficiaries of the, 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 there is too much focus on ladli behan yojana uh, it was started only 4 months before the elections and then he gave some more additional money uh, mama ji as he is fondly called mr shivraj singh chauhan uh, gave some money for raksha bandhan also i think around 1000 rupees for all the women um it has an impact no doubt but the overall beneficiaries of ladli behan yojana is around 45 to 50% of the women only it's not available to all the women uh, above poverty line or the people who are in government servants it is not available to them and uh, uh, i don't think even all the beneficiaries would have voted for mr chauhan um because as you know some of them there is around 7 8% muslim population um there are a lot of you know uh, adivasi tribal people uh, who traditionally vote for congress um you can't just like that uh, you know erase the uh, caste the dynamics uh, just because of one yojana and unlike rajasthan where mr gelot has come up with the last two, two years um, various schemes um the only one scheme uh, which shivraj singh chauhan and mr modi were banking upon is ladli behan yojana and that was also started only 4 months before and um, i don't see that much of an impact of ladli behan yojana yes bjp will gain because of that uh, but i don't see that 150 plus uh, seat uh, wave or tsunami in favor of bjp anywhere and uh, nobody can uh, even bjp leaders um, uh, themselves mr shivraj singh chauhan himself would not have believed this exit polls so i still uh, i'll go with my own prediction though congress uh, maybe was overconfident didn't do that kind of aggressive campaigning uh, like they did it in rajasthan or in telangana um they didn't have a strong local leader uh, like mr revent reddy in telangana mr begel bagel in chatisgarh or mr ashok gelot and to some extent sachin pilot also in rajasthan uh, mr kamalnath is um, you know 70 plus and as i said is a parachute leader and he doesn't have uh, and he did lot of uh, uh, soft hindutva politics also um i don't see but in spite of all that Uh, i don't see any wave in favor of bjp at best bjp can hope for uh, both parties getting around 110 seats and 5 uh, 7 seats for the independents and uh, then again uh, winning them over or buying them over and forming government in that way they may form a government but i don't see them getting a majority uh, i have discussed about i i could have, i could have gone to individual districts and talked about the caste composition there Uh, but uh, i have discussed broadly all the major regions uh, gwalior uh, morena region second was bundelkhand third is B- gwalior morena congress is doing going to do well bagelkhand bundelkhand region it's be even stevens bagelkhand bjp will still win most of the seats but congress will make uh, deep inroads and the fourth region jabalpur it won't be a sweep for congress but still congress will get more seats than bjp then fifth is malwa region congress will definitely win more seats than bjp and uh, in nima region where bjp will win more seats than congress and the central seventh region is uh, bopal vidisha where bjp will win more seats but congress will gain compared to last time so this is a overall prediction uh, i'm still uh, convinced that uh, there is no wave um uh, it's a very even election but the the fatigue factor of 18 years of seeing the same face and uh, that is a uh, thing definitely against bjp though bjp has gained in the last two months which uh, nobody can dispute like congress has gained uh, in the last two months three months in rajasthan bjp has gained in the last two months but i don't see them coming to power with such a brute majority uh, that is not happening uh, sorry exit poll wallo anyway uh, my next uh, thing i'll be posting a video about chatisgarh and mizoram thank you Uh, 2018 itself, Mr. Shivraj Singh Chauhan. 
can really eat into BJP votes and that could help Congress in a very tight contest. Uh, because as I said in the last assembly election, the difference between Congress and BJP was only around 0.3% in favor of BJP. Says YouTube videos, but 